<laughs> what are we having tonight? Tonight we're having a super, super special wine. So it's our friend Pierre's favourite. <laughs> <laughs> so this wine was actually recommended to us by our friend Peter, who is teaching us our wine level two just now, our Wasset level two. Um, it's going really well, isn't it? Yeah, it's going great. It's really a fun course. Um, we've learned about a lot of different things. My favourite part is when we do the, the food and wine pairing. Um, and we learn about all that because it's just really interesting to me to think about what wines taste good, but what wines taste good with certain types of food and what the science is behind that and how you can kind of play with that as well. You can be quite creative with it. So that to me is super interesting. My favourite thing is actually I've learned how to spit wine. <clears throat> which was <clears throat> it was hard at first it was a difficult transition for me to make but I feel like I'm almost there with my acceptance of the fact that I'm now doing that and I'm now one of those people so Louise has finally learned how to spit <laughs> anyway yeah so this wine has been talked about on our course Yeah. our hunky friend Peter handsome Peter handsome Peter Dapper. has uh, recommended it highly he said that it's the worst wine that he's ever tasted in his life did he actually go full worst wine? He, he was. He, he put it up there with one of the worst wines he's ever had. So it's, a, you know, it's a matter of opinion and taste as well as, you know, Peter has an excellent palate and he knows what he's doing. So we're going to crack this bottle of Blossom Hill White Zinfandel, White Zinfandel and see what mm-hmm. we think. Go for it. Um, so the thing that we've learned a little bit about on this course is how to try and be impartial when it comes to wine. Mm -hmm. You know, how to like score it in a kind of fashion that's not just us going, this is fucking stinking, we hate Mm -hmm. it. Um, Even though that seems to be what we're better at. It's it's funny because there are some wines that you're like, eh, it's okay. But when you analyse it and when you break it all down, you have to kind of score it as being very good or sometimes even outstanding because there's nothing wrong with it um it ha- it's well balanced it has all the elements com- you would expect from that grape all the elements you would expect from that particular grape from that particular region it has a complex flavor uh, profile all of these things mean that the wine is doing what it's supposed to do and whether you like it or you don't someone's going to be able to pick that wine up and get what they paid for, basically. Yeah. So it's been great. But, I mean, Heather is known for not really being able to sit still for a long period of time. And you have done amazing. I stand up for a lot of it. And, actually, Heather has been, like, totally... All the questions that require, like, a little bit of prob- problem solving, I keep turning to Heather and be like, how do you know that? And, actually, she's just solved the problem rather than read in secret something I haven't read. Mm. I think my classmates hate me. It's just like school. <laughs> Actually, what we were saying was like, you know, everybody that's on the course is so nice. And then it kind of dawned on me that like, when usually in these situations, there's one that's really fucking annoying. And I was like, oh, I wonder if that's us. Yeah, because everyone else is so lovely. Yeah. Everyone on our course is lovely. We totally locked out. We don't have one horrible smart arse everyone is just yeah, I think so I think we're keen to arse. learn and oh jeez we are yeah uh, fuck yeah we taste this anyway let's wine. taste this wine right are we gonna do it the proper way we can we, we can go over it mmm yep would you say actually right that, that is salmon coloured <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come clean right now and say that because this week right I have worked so much this week and it's been like late nights and lots of travelling. It's actually been probably about what normal people do work-wise. It's probably about the same amount of hours. Mm. But it has traumatised me. <laughs> um, and actually, just the smell of wine, I'm like, oh, thank fuck. Because <laughs> I haven't had any booze all week. Right. Uh, it's. I'm sorry. Heather doesn't want me to talk about my life. She wants to talk about the wine. Oh no, no, I do. I, I really do. If you've had a hard, she has had a hard week. It's been, it's been a long week. So that also explains why this vlog's a little bit late. So this is. I mean, it really smells quite vaguely of strawberries. It's quite pretty. There may be a slight floral 
element in that it smells like a really bad perfume. Drugstore, we just taste it. We just taste yeah. it, yeah. That is very fruity. Kind of like a little bit of the medicines about it. It's really acidic. Yeah, and it tastes like you're absolutely correct. A strawberry flavoured calpol. I can totally see why people turn this so. Really? Do you like it? Do you like it a little no, bit? It, <laughs> it doesn't make me want to throw up in my mouth. Do you know what? Like, roses get quite a, a hard time because there are so many shit roses, but if you want to get wasted. Oh, yeah, like, I, I know what you mean. I can't, I, I can't even drink Coca Cola. I don't really like sweet drinks. But if you were into that kind of thing, or if you put that in the freezer and it was freezing, uh, yeah, if it was really, really cold. What else maybe. could you put in that to make it ice? I, th- I actually do think it would make a really nice sorbet. Can you imagine how, like, if you did in a full bottle of that, what those feelings would be like? <laughs> so it's Friday night. Do you want some more of this? Um, I'm okay to uh, give this to the cat. Okay. What will we do then? It's Friday. Uh, do you know what? I actually, it's put me in a rosy mood, but I. Will- <laughs> I wonder if we have something... Well, just check the fridge, what's in the back of the fridge. Just see what's yeah, in the fridge. Yeah, just see what's in the fridge. Who knows what's there, you know? Could it be something oh! quite special? <laughs> Where did that come from? Could it be a wine that we've been waiting to taste for quite some time? Everybody knows that this is one of Heather and I's favourite Can I put it here? Yes, put it there. Um, we went to this winery when we were in Rioja. If you have not watched our Riocan episode, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but um, and when we were told that we might get a wee sneaky bottle of this, because it's super rare, um, we were quite excited. So, the last time that they produced this was 2008. So this is 2008. It's 10 years old. Um, and we're just they've just released it so um so this gives me the pure palpies right because <laughs> <laughs> if i really like you the pure palpies. pure palpies gives me the pure palpies gives me the pure palpies um gives you because, the palpies. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah if, if i i mean what if i taste this and it's like fucking life changing and then I can't just have another bottle of it tomorrow I think what we'll do if it's life changing is we'll just live this moment we'll roll around in the floor drinking it, we'll just tan the whole bottle tonight okay, we don't know why they don't do more rosé, usually um, wineries will produce a rosé in order to kind of like free up some cash because if you think about other wines that are produced in Rioja there are Grand Reservas and things, they have to sit in a cellar and they're tying up heaps of money. So if they produce a rosé that is summer, summer, summery and fresh, then they can get a little bit more money to make the wines that they like. Yeah, that's it, generally... It, it, it creates a bit of a cash flow, um, but that's not what they use this one for. It's, it's much more um, a kind of labour labour of love I would say you can only buy this um, if you basically buy a lot of the red you have to buy I think it's six bottles of the red before you can get a bottle, one bottle of the white um, it even looks great doesn't it I know um, with this I'm not sure what the deal is but what I do know is Good Spirits just got six bottles of it that was their allocation um, of it and they've given one of them to us, so we are really grateful we're to them so for this. We're so grateful. All um, of that stocking of Jane is like paying off, man. And we don't know if we're going to like it or not, but we tried a white Toronia, um, a white Lopez, when we were in Rioja, and we absolutely loved we it. Loved and it. that was just the young one, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, um, so maybe, also, the way roses are made, they're kind of made the same way that red wines are made, and they, they come from the same grapes but what's happened is they, they get taken off the skins after maybe like 24 hours between 12 and 24 hours 
and from then on they get made in a more similar way to a white wine so it's not like they've made a white wine and added some like a little bit of red for color also um in Maybe terms of the food. fermentation temperature wise uh, it's similar to a white so it's kind of like we we're going to make a red but then we decided to change we we're going to make a red but then we decided to it's almost like um they like if a winery was like what does it smell like I don't know yet. I need to let it open up in the glass. It's almost so. like they meant to make a white and then, but forgot and they were making a red and then they went, oh shit, what will we do? So they make a... But, but that's not actually what's happened, but that's a really nice illustration from Louise. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to check that that's still focused on where it should be. Oh, fuck me sideways. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh, it's, it's absolutely everything. It actually <laughs> smells, you know. That smells so good. That smells almost like... I kind of feel like we don't really deserve it. You know it. that bit, I know, like it's that good. I'm like, pfft. You know with that bit where the chick starts crying at the wine? You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, we watched that. <laughs> we watched uh, somebody else's wine vlog and the girl starts like crying in it because the wine tastes so good. And Heather and I made a lot of fun of that. I cried about sushi once, nearly. Nearly cried. You told me to be quiet <laughs> so you could focus on just eating the sushi. My <sighs> god, it's got all the characteristics of the red grape. Like, I, I know that we're just sniffing this and not let, letting you in on any of it. Look at Lisa's face. Do you want me to shut up? No, no. I enjoy it. Yeah. Um, it's got a lot of the characteristics of the red grape, um, a lot of the characteristics of the oak that it's been in. Yeah. The thing about the um, this winery, that you can get their um, reserves and their... Um, What's that you under? can't. You can get, you get the Criantha. You can get the Criantha and the Reserva, um, quite easily, um. But this you can't. And the Grand Reserva you can't get easily either. Yeah, the Grand Reserva is not. But um, the thing about this winery is um, they use old oak, so it doesn't. It's not really that kind of like that happens. Generally, what they do is they just patch up. They still make new barrels, but they make new barrels as they disintegrate rather than using new freshly toasted barrels every year and I think that makes it softer and we've been it, in their cellars and stuff and and this is what this smells like it smells like their winery it does smell like red fruits <sighs> um, that you would expect from a rosé but there's so much more to it we're getting like a little bit of um, lavender lavender yeah lavender and um just like a little, it's like uh, ground, yeah. like earth. Fuck! Oh my god! Do we try it? Do we try? I it? think you could actually like just sniff it forever. Yeah. Um, it does. Sm- I mean, it doesn't smell dissimilar to their whites, actually. Do you know what it reminds me? My, my dad. My dad was not a drinker, but my dad used to um, sit and sniff a sherry at Christmas time. Weird, doesn't it? (laughs) You know, I think I like the Blossom Hill better. No, you don't. (laughs) Can you imagine? That's that's astonishing, isn't it? It's so weird because it's like it's like drinking a red wine, but it's just not. It it really does taste similar to um their whites that we had there, you know like mm, really. they have a a super strong vibe about them. It tastes fresh. There's the fruits all there, the kind of red fruits like the the strawberries, but it's also got a wee savoury note to it as well. It brings me right back. And it. then you can taste all these characteristics of the red Tempranillo grape. And then... 
the oak characteristics as well. Fuck. Fuck, man. I feel like we should be sharing this with some people. But no. So... <laughs> But this, no. this retails, um, Jane's asked me to pass on, this retails at about £30 um, if you were to find a bottle. Uh, but That's the thing, is the Tondonia stuff is not mega bucks, but it's just hard to get hold of. I, I would say that is a, a ridiculous bargain, because I have never tasted anything like that. No. And it's I, it's not, it's an experience. Oh my god. And, and this is a perfect Friday night wine. It is a perfect, perfect Friday night wine. So apologies that um, this week is a little bit late. Um, that we actually weren't going to do one this week because work's been so intense. But I finished early today, so we literally so I. came straight home and cracked on the cameras, opened some bottles of wine, and um, yeah, it's given us a good excuse to open the Tondonia. So. We're just going nuts today. We're we're having this. Yeah, um, we're going to have steak pie for dinner um, because it's been such a tough week. I know I've yeah. said this before, but this week's been such a tough week. I and mean, you love a bit of pie, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> we should wrap up there. Yeah. Uh, next week, we are either going to talk about Prurat or Malbec. Um, please let us know what you prefer. And if you leave a comment uh, in the comment section... That would be amazing. And if you like this video, give it a little like as well. We can't put that at the end. Christine will do some of this. Oh, sorry, Christine. Also, I wondered whether uh, people would be interested in a kind of like drink along. So if we let you know a couple of days before. What, or a cup, even a couple of weeks before. What wine we're going to do. Whether you would like to also have that wine and, and go through this lovely process with us. Mm. We could all... Just like, really do drink the, it together. Do the GW or mm, the gr- get ready with me. Yeah, you could drink. We could call it dr- get drunk with me. <laughs> <gasps> Brilliant. Do you want, if you want to get drunk with me, episode, let us know. Yeah, um, and we'll we'll film that, and we'll all drink the same thing, and we'll experience the same flavors together. We could even all buy the same snacks together. <gasps> snacks. snacks. I could go a snack. I'm hungry. Yes. Anyway, love you. Cheers. <laughs> Mm. I'm not joking though, this is so good.